actually comes at the end of a business cycle. Could you say just a bit more about that? Uh, certainly, certainly. So uh, this is a, a difficult, uh, it becomes very difficult to uh, uh, forecast the, the economy in particular at the end of the business cycle uh, because uh, uh, you've seen we have this uh, slowdown in, built in and this is really in, indicative of what the, <coughs> the uh, community of economists or forecasters do. It says we're getting towards the end. We know things aren't going to last forever, and so a lot of times we hedge our bets on the downside. Well, that can be very, very dangerous in terms of the revenue forecast because, as you can see here, sometimes uh, the <coughs> revenue trends will divorce from the economic trends. So even if we get the slowdown correct, uh, a lot of times we're going to see uh, a last ditch push in terms of these uh, revenue growth. And uh, it can either be because of overheating of the economy. The last couple of cycles we saw at the very end, we saw a lot of speculative activity in terms of the tech boom and the housing boom. And we had <coughs> speculation going on and generating a lot, of, a lot of tax revenue. But a lot of times it's also because of taxpayer behavior, either by cashing in a bunch of uh, investment income that they've held for a long time all at once, because they too see the end is near. Uh, or in this case, case, uh, probably responding to uh, tax incentives, but things that, uh, you know, things that come all at once. I, I didn't mean to suggest that it would be a, an indicator of a, of a recession to come, because in fact, we're, we're facing the same dilemma here as we're going into setting this May forecast for the next biennium. You know, are we being uh, too cautious? Will this uh, expansion continue for a couple more years longer than we expect, which is traditionally the mistake that a lot of economists make. And so that's where we're really struggling right now with, with doing it. And we're already seeing some economists now are coming out and calling that next recession in 2020. I understand the city manager for Albany has called a recession. Uh, but uh, <laughs> and, and, so, and they'll all be able to tell us, I told you so when it happens, because uh, you know in our position as a planning forecast, we really can't do that because we, we suffer from mistakes on both the upside and the downside. And so uh, for us, our advisors suggest that you know the best, as hard as it is, the best strategy is just to try to stay the course as long as we're still expanding, put an expansion in the, a real one in the forecast, and then when we're sure we have a recession and see the whites of its eyes, then you know put a real recession in the forecast, pulling the Band-Aid off all at once. But that's a lot easier said than done, and our human nature is to hedge our bets, and I think that's why the mistakes, the forecast errors get large towards the end of the cycle. Thank you.